Perhaps we're not ready, but the universe has never waited for us to be. In the vast silence of space, 124 light years away from Earth, a small world orbits a dim red star. It is not flashy. It is not famous. But this exoplanet, K218b, is whispering something extraordinary. It all began when NASA's James Webb Space Telescope pointed its mirrors toward this tiny, distant world. What it found might change everything we know about life in the cosmos. K218b is what scientists call a sub-Neptune. Larger than Earth, but smaller than the WASP giants. Roughly 2.6 times our planet's radius and 8.6 times its mass. It orbits within the habitable zone of a red dwarf star, a place where, in theory, liquid water can exist. But the most stunning part of the story? In 2023, scientists detected traces of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, in the planet's atmosphere. On Earth, DMS is only produced by living organisms, especially marine phytoplankton. Could it be? Could K218b harbor life? Not as science fiction, but as scientific reality? What kind of world is K218b? It's far too big to be Earth-like. It's not quite a gas giant. Instead, scientists believe it might be something new, a Hycean world. Hycean is short for hydrogen plus ocean. These are hypothetical ocean planets enveloped in thick, hydrogen-rich atmospheres. Imagine a planet covered entirely in deep, dark oceans. No continents, no mountain ranges, just water. Above it, a sky of hydrogen and methane, swirling in slow, alien patterns. This might sound hostile, but under certain conditions, such a world could be perfect for microbial life. The hydrogen atmosphere traps heat efficiently, the water below offers stability. Together, they create a potentially life-friendly system. When JWST examined K218b, it found water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, gases consistent with biological processes. And then came the possible detection of DMS, a scent, faint but profound, like catching a whiff of something cooking far down a corridor. But science demands caution. Could something else, some unknown chemistry, create DMs in the absence of life? To answer that, researchers needed confidence. And they got it, a three sigma detection. That means there's only a 0.3% chance the signal is a fluke. Still in science, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. A five sigma detection, 0.006% chance of error is the gold standard. And that's what the scientific community now seeks. Let's step back. What is a biosignature? It's a clue, chemical, physical, or biological, that life might be present. Oxygen was once considered the gold standard, but now gases like methane and DMS are contenders, especially in the right combinations. On Earth, DMS is produced almost entirely by life, mostly by marine microorganisms. It doesn't last long in our atmosphere. It degrades quickly. So if we detect it, especially in high concentrations, it's being replenished actively. That's what makes the discovery on K218b so tantalizing. Yet caution still reigns. Is there a non-biological process that could explain DMS at these levels? Some exotic reaction in a hydrogen-rich environment? Perhaps, but no such mechanism has yet been found. Even stranger, K218b's DMS levels appear to be 20 times higher than on Earth. That aligns with predictions for life on Hyshin worlds. Theoretical models suggest such environments might naturally foster dense microbial biospheres. And here, we face a turning point. Either this is a coincidence of chemistry beyond our understanding, or it's the signature of life whispering through the void. If life truly exists on K218b, what does it mean for the rest of the cosmos? 
Red dwarfs like K218's host star are the most common type in the galaxy, over 70% of stars in the Milky Way. For decades, astronomers debated whether these stars could support life. Young red dwarfs flare violently, often stripping nearby planets of their atmospheres. But newer research suggests that some red dwarfs emit flares only near their poles, not their equators, where planets usually orbit. If K218b has retained its atmosphere, maybe red dwarfs aren't as hostile as once thought. Maybe they're homes. And if K218b, just 124 light years away, hosts life, then the odds shift. Suddenly, microbial life isn't rare. It's common, ubiquitous. The implications are enormous. Our galaxy alone may harbor billions of Hyson-like planets, billions of oceans, billions of chances. But here's the sobering part. Even if microbial life is everywhere, what about intelligent life? Hycean worlds like K218b are likely entirely oceanic. No land, no fire, no tools, no metallurgy. In such a world, evolution hits a wall. Intelligence may arise but remain trapped beneath the waves. And gravity plays its part too. K218b has crushing gravity over twice that of Earth. Any beings living there would be stuck. Chemical rockets might never achieve escape velocity. Spaceflight would be impossible. In that sense, the universe could be teeming with minds that can't speak, civilizations that can't reach the stars. This is one potential answer to the Fermi paradox. Where is everybody? Perhaps they're out there, watching, wondering, but unable to call. And if we venture to these worlds one day, we might be the first to knock. Whether this detection proves to be life or a chemical mirage, we've already gained something profound. We now know that the tools we've built can reach across the stars and touch alien skies. If the signal holds, this may be the most significant discovery in modern science. It could earn Nobel Prizes. It would redefine our place in the cosmos. But even if it fades, we now understand the path forward. We know what to look for, and more importantly, we know how to listen. The universe speaks in whispers. Dimethyl sulfide, methane, ocean mist beneath hydrogen skies. It's up to us to hear it. <laughs>